Well, it's funny because I had uh, looked at probably four other schools for baseball. I was offered a scholarship uh, at Arizona State. But when I talked to the coach there, they talked about red shirting. They talked about um, you know JV type of, of team and. To be honest, Siena was like one of my last choices, and then it ended up really being the best choice um, altogether. Um, I knew Tony. Tony had watched me play since I was probably 14 years old, and said, I think you could come to the school right now and start over the guys that I have currently in the outfield. I came here to play baseball. That was my whole thing. I wanted to be a professional baseball player, so that was my end-all goal. So. I did that, and then as a junior, I didn't get drafted. I was supposed to get drafted by Kansas City Royals. Didn't get drafted, so then I started to think, oh, what if this doesn't really work out? So I really started to concentrate more on school and you know, what kind of life after baseball. And Tony really helped me uh, understand that the education was really the most important thing here. He said, baseball's great. And he said, I would love to see you go on and play professionally. He said, but schooling is important. I think the experience I had at Siena, you know, making friends, there's still the guys that I have on the on baseball team are still guys I hang out with, with today. I think I took the energy that I, that I put into baseball, athletics and schooling, and I said, let me see, take that energy and see what I can do um, in life. And I think it just helped me stay focused. I think when you're an athlete, you, you're always staying that competitive edge. So I've been in sales ever since, and I love the whole selling aspect. I work on commission. I wouldn't do anything different. And I've been doing um, the job I've been in right now, I've been doing it for 17 years. Out of all the people I look to up to the most in life, it's my dad. I mean, he was the one who kept me focused, kept me focused on my grades, kept me focused playing baseball, and really didn't let me settle for anything but the best. So um, I wish he was here with us today, but I know he's here in spirit. And um, you know he would love to see this presentation. I'm sure he's looking at looking down right now as we, as we speak. I grew up playing a lot of sports. I really always loved to play sports. Uh, I really focused on volleyball my junior and senior year. Previously, it had been basketball, but. Junior and senior year, I realized that I really enjoyed volleyball and I was pretty good at it. I played for Woodbury Senior High and we actually went to States with my senior year, which was pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got to Siena as a freshman and we were ranked pretty low my senior or my freshman year, I believe. We were ranked ninth in the preseason polls. Um, but we really had an amazing team, we just didn't know it yet, so when we played uh, Syracuse, when we actually beat Syracuse my freshman year, it was, I feel like, a moment when everyone realized that, oh yeah, even though we're a small school, you know, we, we were ranked low, we could actually win, and we did. A memorable experience was definitely uh, junior year, playing Fairfield uh, for the third time, actually at Fairfield. Uh, so coming into their house, it was packed, it was loud, uh, it was really a great game and it was just really cool to, to come in and, and beat them on their own turf. I met some really amazing people at Siena, I still have some good friends that I talked to. I met my wife at Siena, Maria, she was in, two, she was a 2008 grad. Um, and after Siena, we moved to Boston. I feel like Siena just really provided a good foundation for me for to, to move on with other pursuits that I wanted to accomplish. I actually uh, took a job at MIT, um, first as an administrative assistant, and now I'm actually a financial assistant. I'm most grateful for about my time at Siena is I really am grateful that I was able to play college volleyball. Um, I really enjoyed playing it at a higher level and I'm really grateful for, you know, just having that, this, the whole Siena experience, you know, just was really great to, to open my eyes to, to new, to new things, to new people. Um, I just feel as though I was able to really expand who I was and, and you know, make me who I was today. My experience in a hole at Siena and being a Siena athlete 
really plays a part in every facet of my life now, whether it be athletically or professionally. You know, things really intensified for me when I went to Siena and I put on that jersey and I realized I was playing for something that was bigger than myself. And it made me really lock in and work on things like work ethic and time management and teamwork and drive. And those are all things that I use now. And, you know, there's times and, and moments that come up at work or come up with coworkers. And I'm just like, wow, that's so reminiscent of my Sienna days. You know, it was training and it was training for something that was bigger than what was going on then. And I'm so grateful for that. I remember the ICA tournament and I upset the 17 seed from Virginia. And I remember seeing Coach O'Brien's face and the excitement and proudness that was coming from it was just so humbling. And then to see, you know, the St. Bernard moving its way through the ITA draw with, you know, top tennis schools like Harvard and Yale and Brown and Marshall. And it just drove me to want to do more every single year to give back, you know, and to show that I was proud to wear that Sienna jersey. Another really memorable moment of my Sienna experience was senior day. It was awful weather. Our match had already been postponed. And despite all of that, my family and friends and team and Father Mullen all came out and presented me with my senior, you know, portrait. To have the whole Sienna community there on that day just meant so much to me. It was just such an amazing day and I'll always have that feeling. The one thing I'm most grateful for about my CN experience is my support system. You know, the people that made my career what it was. People like my sister and Coach O'Brien, Coach Symbolic, Dan Taylor, or Hammer. I mean, I was not an easy person all the time and they stood by me and supported me. And Sienna really taught me to be a part of the community and have them be a part of me. And I'm so grateful for that. And it's made me such a better person. Uh, I would say my freshman year, uh, just becoming a part of the Sienna community was a big deal for me and my family. Like it was a great experience just seeing that the city and how well we were brought in after the team before us didn't do so well. Uh, we got support from the start. It was a great experience just coming from uh, the Washington DC area and moving up to Siena, which is completely opposite. And it was fun just to get to know my classmates. Uh, one of the great moments we beat Stanford. Uh, Josh Duke had an amazing game. And that's when our freshman class stepped up. And, uh, that was probably one of the most fun games I've had like at home in Siena besides, of course, the MAC playoffs. We started getting national attention. We got to go to Florida, like for the NCAA tournament my junior year and in Ohio my senior year. Uh, just all of it was just a life-changing experience. I gotta say we, got, we, were, we were like family. Uh, we did everything together, uh, on and off the court. It had to be my funnest two years I've ever had in my life, uh, still to this day. And I would never forget that group of people. I'm still very close with the majority of the guys. I mean, I keep in contact with as many as I can. Thank God that I'm still going strong. I'm still healthy. And I still feel like I can play for, hopefully, a lot more years of basketball. And, um, but it prepared me for uh, just life and the struggles you're gonna face every year, every day, and just what you gotta do to get over it. I would say I'm most grateful about the Siena Albany community. Through basketball, through charity work, people come up to me and say, I've changed their life somehow. I met a kid, I shook his hand, I told him good luck and uh, keep his head up and I meant every word about it. And four years later, they come up to me and tell me what I did for them. Uh, and I'm just grateful that uh, they've always shown me love. And they still do. Uh, to this day, every time I walk in, into the area, uh, I'm happy. I can't go back enough without having a fun time in my mind. Like, I can't imagine not going to Santa now. Like, uh, I've always get asked the question if I want to go to a bigger school and all that. But looking back at it, it was a perfect situation for me. And I had a, the greatest time in my life. Uh, that's why I always uh, bleed green and gold. 
Uh, I just want to say thank you uh, to the Siena community, uh, to the Albany area, uh, to all the coaches we've had, uh, Coach Mack, Coach Bonaguro, to all the players, uh, all my teammates, all the managers we've had, and to all our fans, like the Dog Pound. Uh, I just want to say thank you for the honor y'all giving me for uh, voting me to the Hall of Fame and all the support you guys gave me throughout my Siena career from my freshman year day one until my last game of Siena. Uh, I'm really grateful for the time I was there and all the love and I can't, can't be more proud or more happy about you know, the honor and the reward I'm receiving uh, from being part of the Hall of Fame of Siena. So thank you to everybody. I wish I could be there. I got business to take care of here and a uh, season going on, so hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you.